Hi, I'm Jacob. This is the Preppers Bunker Outdoors. And today I'm going to do something a little bit unusual for the channel. We're going to be looking at a kit that I actually purchased off of eBay. Now my friend James led me on uh, to the guy who makes these. And right now, as of April of 2017, the kit sells for 10 bucks shipped. And the reason I was so excited about that is it takes more than $10 just to put the time into making and putting together and advertising, doing everything else for these kits, definitely worth your view. So what I'm gonna do is uh, we're gonna make a fire with only the materials that are included in this kit. All right, so the kit comes with a small ferro rod and a striker. Now these strikers are excellent. This is the same striker that Doug Wilson supplies on some Yellow Hawk custom Kydex sheaths. And uh, I don't know why people complain about it. Probably because they don't know how to use it, but it's got this burr right here. And they just throw sparks like crazy and they weigh nothing. So that's really neat. You get a bundle of wax sealed jute twine. I know for a fact that this stuff is phenomenal. There's a lot of wax on this and I bet it's just gonna be fantastic. You get little uh, wax fire extenders. These are nice, obviously, uh, for extending your fire. And then you get another little wax fire extender, but this has his wax sealed jute twine actually built in so that uh, you can really get your fire going and keep it, get it started really nice just with this one piece. So this is a really a pretty inclusive kit. And what I'm basically going to do is see if I can get a fire going easily that stays lit for a good time just with this little guy right here. The knife that I'll be using for any cutting is the uh, SE CR 2.5. Just a phenomenal knife. This is part of my EDC. I just got this sheath from Doug Wilson. Yellow Hawk Custom Kydex. Talk about an incredible sheath. And again, same striker there. I can hardly describe how great this sheath is for carrying this little knife. Love it. So, let's see here. What I'm going to do is I'm simply going to cut through this twine. I'm going to pull it up and fray it. And once I've frayed it as much as I can, oh, well, I pulled the whole thing out there, so I guess that'll work too. We're gonna just get this completely frayed, and we're gonna try and catch a spark with it. Now, to be honest, guys, normally my problem, and the problem of nearly anybody who fails at getting a fire going, is that I can be impatient. And so, at the end of the day, any tinder, such as this, or anything else on the entire planet, is only going to work as well as you prepare it. And so it, it really pays off big time to spend the time to really fray this stuff out. So, what I plan on doing, I don't know if that's what's going to happen or not, but what I plan on doing is fraying all of this, getting it to light, and then just flipping it over and seeing if it will... Uh, the wax will light and stay lit. Should probably break some of it down so it has more edges to catch on. Ooh, this stuff's kind of tough. Look, I happen to have a knife sitting right here. Yeah, this is some. This is some tough waxy, oh, cause this is, uh, actually this is wax impregnated cotton it looks like. I see what's going on here. Sweet. All right, so let's get our little pile going here. Get my extra stuff out of the way. Especially this, especially this. See if we can't get this stuff to catch a spark. 
And then we're going to have a fire. Look at that. Cut right up. Let's get it, the wax on top of it here. Wow, this stuff is burning like incredibly. I don't want to smother it here. This doesn't work. It is totally nobody's fault except for mine. Come on. Get a little warm. On my fingers. Look at that. It's going. Ooh. All right, so we have this little guy going. Try and keep all our hot stuff together. And that will probably burn for a good little while. I guess it's a little bit wasteful, but people are going to wonder, you know, I've got this wax sealed fire starter. Is it going to start when wet? So I reckon what I'll do is dip this right into the water here and just throw it on top here and see what it does. All right, that little girl's dripping wet. Now, of course, I should fray that out just like I did with the last one, spend some prep time with it. But honestly, if it simply catches, uh, that's, that's phenomenal. Uh, with zero prep, I'd be really impressed. Now I hope that this part of the video is more entertaining to you than watching paint dry, but uh, I understand if it's not. Let's see here. What are you doing, Jimbo? Come here. Come here, buddy. Let's get some photo bones. Oh, no! Don't do that, you dummy. Oh, I didn't even feel it, buddy. All right, move my ferro rod away. This uh, this wax is taking. Look at it. It is on fire. Now I'm gonna cut the film, and I'm gonna do this the way I should have done it the first time which is I'm going to see if I can dunk this in water and then catch it on fire the way I did the first one. Look at that. All right, so I'll cut this and prepare the next one. All right, guys. I don't know if the camera can tell here, but this thing is dripping wet. I don't know if you're... Can you see? It's wet, I pinky promise. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing again. Cut my cord. Fray my stuff. Now the last one took so easy on the first strike, which never happens to me, by the way. I try not to be one of those channels that you see where the guy just appears to go out there and do stuff and everything just works the first time and he's like the super professional and then he goes to all the other channels and talks crap aka a liar I ain't that guy but this stuff really 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 worked well alright get my stuff out of the way here let's strike it and see if it takes as easy as the last it shouldn't going. Alright, so I need to do this right here. Look at that. It's 
Some really nice stuff, guys. Wow. I'm gonna have to drop this here in a second, I'm thinking. Now you're not gonna wanna cook over this. Uh, this wax uh, is not necessarily healthy when it's burning. You could if you had to, and I'm sure it's not actually gonna do anything. I guess you just wouldn't wanna make a habit out of it. But that's kind of the popular thing right now with all natural and everything else. Um, now I want you guys to also notice that the rock that I'm burning this on is also soaking wet. But really, you saw when I tried to blow it out, this stuff really gets going. This makes fire easy. This is a great tool to teach people with. And I tell you what, I wouldn't be selling these for around 10 bucks. In fact, I probably shouldn't have mentioned the price because I'm going to tell the guy that, uh, that he needs to bring the price up. Can't make any money this way. Poor guy. What a awesome part of the community, though. Anyways, make sure that you guys not only check these out, Seriously, you need to go on eBay right now and buy one. But also, make sure that you check out Doug Wilson. Uh, you can see some of his work on my Instagram, The Preppers Bunker Outdoors. Um, on my Facebook group, uh, The Preppers Bunker. Or, you know, on his Instagram or whatever else. But you need to make sure you check it out because uh, he hands down makes the nicest stuff on the planet. I'll be doing a review of this little kit soon. And like I said, I wear it every day. I'm not telling you this because Doug paid me. Doug doesn't pay anybody. Doug doesn't have to pay anybody because this is, this is awesome. Look at this little notch here. It's just perfect for my finger right there as I'm pulling this little thing out. That click. Awesome. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, again, one more time, make sure to check out Half Plant 45. Uh, we're going to have a link in the description box below to this stuff that's sold on eBay. I bought this with my own money, just so everybody knows. This is not me getting paid by somebody. This is not me, just whatever. I bought this stuff. Um, I'll probably buy it again because it's awesome. And I want to have these little capsules and all my stuff. It's just too easy. Uh, but I'm hopefully going to change the name of this video because I'm hoping that he can start getting some followers, some Facebook pages, uh, a brand name, and really start putting these out here. But no matter what his personal goals are, make sure that you get some of this stuff, guys. Support the bushcraft community. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments section. Uh, I'm sure there's about 150 things that I could have done better, but I wanted to keep this shortish and simplish. The bottom line, no matter how well or how poorly I tried to show you uh, how this stuff works, is it really, really works. I mean, it's about catching the moss, the wet moss underneath it on fire. So, uh, again, glad to have you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'll talk to you soon.